Um, her family heard nothing for three days, uh, and then it was confirmed that um, she was. In fact, she was allowed to telephone uh, to say that she was safe, um, and then they were told then that she would be released within a couple of days. After a couple of days, it went quiet, um, and then um, she. It turned out she'd been transferred down to um, Kerman province, which is a thousand kilometres away from them. She was on holiday. Um, she is a British charity worker. She works for an organisation um, that doesn't do anything in Iran. She's been to Iran four times in the past two years without any problems. She's there with a young baby. Um, so no, I, I don't know. Now your daughter is with her grandparents, so with so, Nazanin's parents. That's right. So, so Gabriella's had her passport confiscated by the Iranian authorities. Uh, that has um, been taken. She's British, so she can't come back until the passport's released. She's currently with her grandparents. Um, I can speak via Skype um, with her, yeah, sort of once a day. Um, yeah, we'll have that sort of minute of conversation, uh, or two minutes, and, and depending on, yeah. So th that contact is possible. And, um, yeah, it's, she's clearly struggling and, and, and adapting and, and waking up in the middle of the night screaming and looking for mummy and looking for daddy, but, but she's also playing with her cousins and, and she's safe.